It's not the things inside my head that keep me going. Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it. Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me. But I believe in something bigger. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the ED Active Vlogs. So I'm in Thailand at the moment and I'm holding this because this is gonna be my microphone that I'm using um, that is attached to the camera. So basically it'll allow me to put the camera down and I can like either pin it to my shirt or just hold it and you'll get crystal clear audio no matter how far I am from the camera. So this is the new microphone from DJI. Obviously this little fluffy thing is just to prevent that, that breathing noise on it because I was using it without it and it, cause it looks a bit funny, you know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, I'm in Thailand at the moment Moment. I'm gonna be vlogging a little bit um, anyway I'm feeling really good like I've been here for about four or five days just been resting eating catching up with friends really like just deloading for the for the end of the year and like today I've just woken up feeling super fresh skins looking pretty good just gave myself a haircut groomed my body from the eyebrows down basically gonna go to breakfast now buy like an omelet something clean just some protein and then I'll go and hit the gym hope you guys enjoy the vlog if you do Go ahead and like it right now. Subscribe to the channel. Don't wait till the end because you probably forget. Do me that favor. It really does help with the algorithms. And yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back into this vlogging series for you guys. So, um, before I move on with the day, I, th I haven't even really given you guys a life update. So quick life update. This year was probably one of the hardest years I've ever experienced in my entire life. I went through some serious lows, some serious highs. Um, I've had surgery twice on my ankle, was in a moon boot for like three months, dropped off obviously the YouTube train, which like killed me because I couldn't carry a camera around or just basically do anything on my own. So I was relying on a lot of people. When you rely on other people to do things for you and basically create your own happiness in general, that's when life can become very difficult because you're not in control of your own happiness anymore. So I just like, honestly went through a big year and I've come to the end of it on top, to be honest. I feel like I learned so much. Um, I've filtered through a whole bunch of people um, and it's really made me realize who my closest friends are and that you can really rely on your family when things get rough. Like, well, for me anyway, like when shit hits the fan, your family's always going to be there for you. And yeah, I've had a massive year of growth, strengthening realizations and I've also achieved quite a lot too within my businesses and my training and stuff like that so I know I haven't given you guys much info as to what I've been doing but <clears throat> yeah I've had a very full-on year and um, coming to the end of it like I've been doing a lot of reflecting since I've been over here in Thailand and honestly I wouldn't change it because everything that I went through made me stronger and it's helped me to get to where I am now and I know that sounds cliche but I've actually like been doing a bit of spiritual work breath work really just touching in with my inner self, I would say. And yeah, it's it's helped me to become a little bit more empathetic as well and build better connections with the people that I have in my circle of friends. So yeah, anyway, that's where I'm at. I did come to Thailand earlier in the year in September and I got my full sleeve done. So I'll quickly show you guys that because I know you haven't even seen it yet. Well, it's a bit hard to see. Can you see that? Fuck. All right, I'll start it here. So at the bottom of my sleeves, there's a Buddha and then there's like a Mandela flower behind it, which I sort of designed to sort of continue on with the whole Mandela theme that I started off with on my wrist. So obviously that was already there. Um, then there's a lotus leaf at the bottom of the Buddha. Then as we continue around, there's two angels there, which are meant to represent my nonna and nonnul that passed away. Then on the elbow, which is probably one of my favorite parts of the whole piece, um, there's a mandala flower, which we pretty much designed from scratch. And I made sure that it just like sort of fitted in with my physique because when I designed this tattoo, 
I wanted it to really complement my physique and the way that the muscles and the, the anatomy flow. Anyway, then on my inner bicep is Armida, which is my nonna's name. And then on my shoulder, I've got a horse. So I was born on the year of the horse, which is one reason that I chose it. But like, then I was, I was thinking like, what can I put on the shoulder? What can I put on the shoulder? A lot of people like get animals and this and that. And I just don't really have any relation to like lions and tigers and shit like that. I've always really admired horses for their temperament and the way that they act. You can sort of see what they're thinking through their eyes. And then, yeah, just because I was born on the horse, like that was the most relatable animal that I, that I could think of. And then I started Pinteresting it and I found a really like strong looking stallion. I think they're called Fijian stallions. They're like these big black horses with hectic manes. And I was like, that's the one fam. That's the one. So yeah, went with that. And then he's got like a sunshine around him, which is a bit hard to see. You can see the sunshine, the beams. Anyway, you guys will like, you'll see it as we, as we go. Um, I feel like there's one more bit that I'm missing. Oh, and then just the dot work. So the dot works like the filler, the main, it's honestly like the main part of it. Um, so the dot work is the flower of life and most people just use it to fill in small gaps, but I love that pattern since I first seen it. And I was like, I want to get basically my whole arm covered in that because I don't want my tattoo to sort of cover up my arm too much. I didn't want it to be like too dark so that when you see my arm, especially because I, I train, like all you can see is black ink. So with the dot work, it leaves a lot of space between each of the patterns and they all interconnect and yeah, I'm actually super happy with it. 10 out of 10, got it done in Patong um, at Bloodline Inc. Great facility, super clean, very talented artists and they help you design it all on the iMac. Like they, like they pre-sketch it up and everything. Awesome place, go and check it out if you wanna get your tattoo done. All right, let's go to breakfast. Oh yeah, I might as well show you guys where I'm staying at the moment. So I'm at the Novotel. I was staying with my dad and my brother earlier in the trip. And then I've just sort of booked three nights here, like literally last minute, just jumped on, booked it the day I needed to, to move. And then I'm gonna stay another two nights in Kamala Beach, just over New Year's, so that we're nice and close to Cafe Del Mar, which is where we're going. And then my schedule is sort of just open. So I sort of like, when I'm traveling alone, I just like to book a few nights here, a few nights there, and then that gives me the flexibility to sort of move around. And I literally just like book it on the day. I just look at like whatever's cheap, available, nice room, yep, bang, done, do it. But yeah, it's a pretty decent room. It's like a lot of space, really comfy bed, like, oh, just good to unwind in. Nice big shower, it's bathtub and that in there. Water pressure's like seven out of 10. I booked the, um, the ground floor one so that it's got the entrance to the pool as well. Got your own little private pool. So this is all I'm gonna have, just the omelette with everything. And I told her to put extra cheese. Just a pretty light breakfast, a bit of protein and fat, and then a double espresso. I just had to get some water for the room because you drink a lot when you're over here and they don't really give you much at the hotel. So I thought I'd just buy one of these big six packs anyway. All right, just wanted to give you guys a little bit more of an update on my ankle injury because this was like a big part of my year. As you can see, there's like a massive scar there. Basically what happened was it was so broken down from all the sprains that I'd been like, that I'd incurred and the only way to fix it was to operate on it and to put a screw like this big through both of the bones. So I went through one bone and out the other bone and it held them together. And then I had to, I had to lay off it for a whole month, no weight bearing. So I was on crutches for a whole month, which was really hard mentally and physically. I was like hopping around my house. I was on crutches going up and down the stairs one step at a time. Every time I had to go to the toilet, even in the middle of the night, like I had to hop around the house and my legs, my glutes, my lower back, everything was just fucked. Then I went to Thailand the next month in the moon boot, still on crutches for like the first two weeks of the holiday. 
and then eventually I was able to walk around in the moon boot without the crutches. And then when I got back to Australia, I had to get the screw taken out. So I was off my feet for maybe just a few days, but then like wearing the moon boot again. And it was like, it's been a hectic recovery. So just being able to walk around the hotel right now and like carry a six pack of water with no boot on anything, like it feels amazing. And I'm just like counting my blessings to have recovered from that surgery because I honestly thought I was just gonna be dealing with that pain forever. Like, so I've had total three surgeries on this ankle, but I'm hoping that's the last one. This was like the full Rico. The first two were smaller, but anyway. That's the update. All right, guys, so that's gonna be the end of part one. I just wanted to make this video short, sharp, and simple. Quick life update, and like I said, my tattoo explained to you and the meaning behind why I designed it the way that I did. So make sure you stay tuned and watch part two tomorrow, which will be uploaded, and that's gonna contain the workout footage of part of today's video. So I will continue to film a little bit more into the Thailand trip, and then hopefully I'll be able to carry that momentum back into vlogging once I'm back in Australia. So like always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.